What seems to be the problem, Dr. Ditch? According to this, Dr. Glitch, our project has failed. Failed? Yes, there is nothing we can do. We created the holograms, we created the creatures that came out of that stupid film, there has to be some way to stop them. Didn't we base them off of the animatronics? Yeah. The ones for Jurassic Park. Maybe. We DID based them off of the animatronics, but also the computer generated models. Also, I see where you are going with that, but think about it this way. According to the book, The Making of Jurassic Park, to build the T-Rex animatronic from Jurassic Park, which was 20 feet tall minus 3000 ibs of clay for sculpt, rigid foam casting sliced into cross sections each piece numbered, put on an opaque projector and projected up five times into a piece of plywood, cut plywood out and reduce it by two inches for the clay hooked onto sculpting our mature spanned hardware cloth and fiberglass and put the clay on act. The T-Rex was controlled by small puppet Rex, based on flight simulator. With the holograms, it was all done in a computer with the latest tech. We just based our creations off of the creatures from Jurassic Park. And the films were created by projecting still photographs extremely fast to create the illusion of movement. At first, there were only silent films, but as years and years went by, films were combined with sound, went to color and more recently are being made into HD and 3D films. It was truly the first masked form of entertainment, and, in a way, was, and is a type of art. Wait. Was Creation X created with a certain film genre? Wow. Well, according to the Chicago Tribune, comedies can give you laughter giving you distance from your problems and can relieve anxiety as well reduce aggression and fear. 3D is a more recent genre that can make you feel more involved in the film, which requires creating two different views of an object, one in each eye, usually with the colors red and cyan slash blue. Also, the 3D films can create headaches, dizziness and nausea. If you feel sick watching a 3D film, it could be a sign of some visionary type problem, which would emphasize minor eye problems. And. The horror genre, as described by the Chicago Tribune, can increase your heart rate from the films carrying the bolts out of you. But if you have something like coronary heart disease, the horror films will increase your blood pressure and chest pains, letting the doctors know if you have any of those things. The genre can also trigger memories of events that have happened in your life. I don't think you understand. If what you're saying is true, and let's say it turns out the creature is in the horror genre. I know, I know, but I think we may be able to work this out. Maybe the thing can help us, rather than harm us. Doubt it. Wait, remember what Rushio Robert said. He said that films have to be realistic, so that you feel what happened and it could happen to you, and that they have to have emotional effects on people. We based our studies on mostly on how G can control images on computer screen, how the applications are broken down to four categories, design tilde computer is used as a tool for designing objects which provides an interactive drawing tool and is an interface to simulation. It also gives analysis tools for the engineer. Fine Arts uses computer screens to create images. Scientific visualization are scientific events exhibited pictorially and are in a motion to provide more insight into the phenomena. Human-computer interfaces are able to communicate with computer which requires a rapid display of real-time images. All of that was according to Encyclopedia Britannica of course. That is true, but the advice he gave us means that the creature has to be realistic, and has no specific genre at all. Wait, wait. Let's go back to talking about destroying it, what happens if we just use water? Hmm, that may actually work, but we cannot really test to see if it will work, we have nothing to test. Why don't we just go up to the creature and dump water onto it? Maybe, but then again, it costs a lot to make the creature. Ah, other people paid for it. Producers and single quote stuff. Now how do we find this thing? Ooknan. Well. How do small films become famous? Well, Dr. Ditch, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, Hammer films were low-budget films, and became well-known. 
In the mid 1950, they were known for winning formula of horror, science fiction, and fantasy. Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing became well known because of the films. But it lost popularity because of higher production horror films from other companies. In the 1970s, they attempted martial arts horror in The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. The final film was an unfortunate remake. Okay, the more than I asked, but since the creature is based on filmography itself, it will obviously do what it can to become famous, I guess and hope. Well, let's look for where it could be in our huge city.